एक्टिविटीज हो या बिजनेस रिलेटेड एक्टिविटीज हो अब हम आते हैं कैसे जनरेट होता है कैसे खरीदा जाता है कैसे बेचा जाता है और बिटकॉइन की तरह से ही बहुत सारी ऐसी करेंसी हैं तो आप कैसे उसे लेन देन करें ये लीगल है या नहीं है किस गवर्नमेंट ने इसको प्रतिबंधित किया है किस देश में चल रही है किस देश में नहीं चल रही है इसका फ्यूचर क्या है ऐसे बहुत सारे सवाल हमारे बीच में इतनी जल्दी एक पैसा कैसे पड़ता है अभी हम न्यूज देख रहे थे कि हमारे महानायक बच्चन साहब भी इज वेरी हैप्पी उनका कुछ छोटा सा इन्वेस्ट उन्होंने किया काशी में बहुत बड़ा स्टेक बन गया तो इसके बनता कैसे है कई लोग ये समझते हैं कि माइनिंग कहीं अफ्रीका में खुदाई चल रही है सोने की हीरे की और उससे फायदा होता है तो उससे कुछ पैसा आता है तो एग्जैक्टली ब्लॉक चेन क्या है माइनिंग क्या है और क्रिप्टो करेंसी क्या है और उस सब के बाद में हमारी भारतीयता की पहचान एक एक अनोखी ऐसी अनूठी अनूठा नाम जिसे कि हर मांगलिक कार्य में बहुत मंगल समझा जाता है किन्नी गिन्नी क्या है गिन्नी का इनिशिएटिव कैसे लिया कैसे इसकी शुरुआत हुई और गिन्नी किस पायदान पे है इन सब बातों को लेकर हमारे बीच में हमारे देश के एक यशस्वी नागरिक और सिंगापुर के एक नामची उद्योगपति आदरणीय श्री अति गुप्ता जी और गिन्नी के सीईओ श्री विकास गुप्ता जी हमारे बीच मौजूद है वो आज इन सब बातों पर प्रकाश डालेंगे तो मैं फिर आपका स्वागत करते हुए और आदरणीय एस सी गुप्ता जी से अनुरोध करूंगा कि वो आगे की इस कॉन्फ्रेंस की कार्रवाई का संचालन करेंगे थैंक यू सो मच नमस्कार सबसे पहले बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया आप सब लोगों का जो आपने कीमती समय निकाला है हमारा मानना यह है कि आप सब लोगों के हाथ में बहुत बड़ी पावर है जो कलम की पावर है जिसके जरिए जो नई टेक्नोलॉजी आ रही है उसमें काफ़ी भ्रांतियां हैं उनको दूर किया जा सकता है और कैसे इस नई टेक्नोलॉजी से लोगों का व्यापार का या देश का भला किया जा सकता है हम उस विषय पर चर्चा करना चाह रहे हैं देखा जाए तो हमारा जीवन में बहुत सारे चेंजेस आए जिन्होंने हमारा रहना काम करना सब कुछ बदल दिया जैसे कि कंप्यूटर आए इंटरनेट आए गूगल हो गया फेसबुक हो गया हमारा रहना सहना सब कुछ बदल गया इसी तरह ई कॉमर्स आया अब एक नई टेक्नोलॉजी का जन्म हुआ है ब्लॉकचेन टेक्नोलॉजी जिसके जरिए एक डिस्ट्रप्टिव टेक्नोलॉजी है बहुत सारे व्यापारों की शक्ल बदल जाएगी आने वाले समय में और यही इसको हम कैसे पॉजिटिव तरीके से यूज़ कर सकते हैं ताकि इससे व्यापार को बेहतरी हो लोगों को बेहतरी हो सरकार को Yeah, I I can hear you. <laughs> no issue. Yeah, yeah, clearly. What are the guidelines or what are what are you know? Procedure you follow. You should not get in the controversy because the most is not the Bitcoin. You know, if it's a bachelor, you know, he 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 is the one who has taken crores of crores of rupees. Yeah. You know, and he is he is in loss. So he is in a loss. He is in a loss. Uh, I don't know whether you are aware or not. Okay. Sukta so, might be aware about this. Okay. So there was a whole whole article on Mr. Bachelor because he was involved in it. Okay. Okay, so uh, there are clear guidelines in our case since we follow Singapore laws. So there are clear guidelines on what we cannot and can do. At the same time, we have Thomson Reuters World Check behind us, and we also have the MAS database. We are using both of these to ensure that any possible people who we do not want to be associated with are flagged out early. That's why we have a KYC portion. This checks both of these systems before the people go through. On top of that, the there is a clear taxation structure for Singapore as well. Now, for India's case, it's a bit unique in the sense that at one point, one agency wanted to outlaw cryptocurrency, and then now recently, the judiciary actually asked them to review how to accept it. So, in this case, India is still at the early stages. Eventually, they will release clear taxation structures, and at most, what we expect is maybe they will ask for KYC, which our technology is already doing, and if the government wants to restrict access to certain people our systems are already capable of that so if they release such guidelines we just have to put the names in and they will be stopped immediately at the same time if there are any statistics that they require it's freely available i would like to add here um, most of the time people are aware about bitcoin because the price is appreciating or depreciating because it's a speculative nature various people has bets on it to get benefit or either at times on loss overall on period to period it is gains but yes there has been some loss at times if you analyze what we have shared right now our business is not at all on speculation we are providing infrastructure for the companies 
which is cryptocurrencies or blockchain where the transactions are processed so whether they are for ten thousand dollar or twenty thousand dollar or five thousand dollar they will require processing so what we are doing is processing the second part of our business is the ktm machines which gives the user ease to buy or sell because there is a very big thought in the mind of a lot of people i have coins but where i can sell it maybe a lot of shops are not accepting it or maybe i can get money or from it or not so that's why we made it very easy for the people that they can buy or sell instantly like what you do on a bank atm machines and it doesn't require very high technology also because many people are not that technical literate so that gives them an ease of business as well as the gains it is up to them whether they want to do speculation or not as far as we are concerned we are an infrastructure company in blockchain and we are capitalizing on that because the scope is very high and the gains are very high and that is why who participate in our ico will be benefited by that i hope i answer your question thank you sir so would be your target audience here here in mumbai you already run a press for press meet in delhi to do the course of presentation i've seen you know if you want to go go for it you have to go to the facebook page of yours like it and then they'll give the update then what is the kyc procedure you know what are the things included in put in kyc in kyc we take down the personal particulars and a copy of their physical ids as well we run it through those two three systems that we have and we have a compliance department who is making sure that everything is on in order they then revert back to the user so the kyc can be done on our website they just go to our website and click on the I, the kyc portion and they come with a form so once they do that in order the compliance gets back to them on what is the status and gets in touch with them personally on this matter so they are saying who is the target or audience okay this technology is worldwide it's not aimed or restricted to any segment it doesn't require involvement of any cash and this whole process also do not require any human involvement so no matter where a person is there it can be it can take part in it but of course we have done some restrictions like some of the countries which uh, there might be some issues about the money laundering or terrorist activities like we have excluded pakistan we have excluded iran we have excluded north korea so even though they wish to involve in it we don't want to get any involvement of there so we have already restricted them and the only not targeted not the segment which we don't want is which is the flight segment that's why we engage writer thompson they have database of almost 3 over million people and profiles who could be either linked with any of the suspected activity or they might be on the watch list so as soon as they are screen and flag we don't want to do rest anybody whether it is a very small person with 100 rupees or whether it is a millionaire all are welcome for it So can we just throw some light? I know you know what is the what is the law says of India, especially in the crypto and virtual virtual money. Okay, as far as the law is concerned, there is no document which is saying black and white it is illegal. That is number one. Secondly, there has been some changes being formed. I believe I have heard that there is some parliamentary committee being formed to formulate the laws. It's a new technology which is not a conventional business. So that is why I think government is in the process of it. And if they take it as in a positive manner. that how this blockchain or crypto can be helpful for general public i believe modi ji wants digital india so this could be a big leap and step to the digital india there are millions of nris which are staying abroad every month they send money to their families and most of them are sending very small money now not in the normal system it takes time and it they lose about 5 to 10% of the money which they send back home by this technology they can send much faster they can get more money for that and the all that money which is going in the parallel market because of that can be legalized and increase the country's revenue and foreign exchange reserves that's how you can put the technology to the right perspective so please please take on very positive note so the do you said the site not is already the talks is already there in parliament the people of the forming you know with the plan to form some law in the, in the case of uh, virtual money so you know when you came on board when you decided to launch this have you done your paper work in terms of when we talk about are we legal are we illegal you know okay that is what we have shared we are a singapore company and we are fully legal in that perspective we have the written legal opinion from the competent lawyers from there that is number 1 now what we are going place to place india is our 
कहते हैं मातृभूमि है तो वी है इंडिया इज लैकिंग इन दिस एनवायरमेंट चाइना इज टेकन ए बिग लीड इन दैट दे आर कंट्रोलिंग ऑलमोस्ट 60 परसेंट ऑफ द माइनिंग ऑफ द वर्ल्ड दे आर कंट्रोलिंग ऑलमोस्ट लाइक 95 परसेंट ऑफ द हार्डवेयर मैन्युफैक्चरिंग इंडिया हैज बीन इन आईटी रेवोल्यूशन बट इन दिस फ्रंट इंडिया हैज बीन लैकिंग ए लॉट सो वट वी थॉट प्रॉब्लम दिस कुड बी आवर कंट्रीब्यूशन दैट वी कैन गो हैड टू क्रिएट द अवेयरनेस अमंग द पीपल अमंग द अथॉरिटीज एंड वी हैव ऑलरेडी पिच आवर सोल्यूशन ऑफ दिस Uh, foreign remittances to the government of india hopefully if we can hear something from that that is where we believe that's why we are addressing to the press here which can be a very uh, fundamental in raising the awareness and removing the confusion from the public eventually whatever the taxes are there this is supposed to be there there is no issue with that because that's how the country runs and that's how the development will help on and we are there to work together with any authorities for that uh one more thing is test 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 like uh one more thing is recently there has been a tax notice tax notices issued on quite a big volume for those trading in cryptocurrencies so that would be another development which has recently happened where the income tax in the india side is actually giving out tax notices to the people trading yeah. any more questions Uh, I would like to add one more thing here. Uh, with God's grace, we have one celebrity here, Dr. Sri Sai Ram Iyer Ji, and he. We would like to invite him. Uh, Gupta Ji and the junior Gupta Ji, both of them. Uh, I mean, my heartiest congratulations and best wishes to them because. Uh, one thing I can tell you, friends, I don't understand business as much because I'm an artist. I'm an artist, so I don't have business to do much. This part of me, I'm completely nirakshar. But spiritual part, if you do that, anything to do with adhyatmya, because music itself is something to do with soul, and that's how I met Gupta Ji, and I can't forget that evening walk of mine where I was in Singapore for a concert. And I was just casually walking in the moonlight, and suddenly I found a gentleman walking beside me. And uh, one thing led to another, and we started off a discussion. And that led to so many varied topics. Uh, but the common factor was spirituality. He didn't know I was a singer, and I didn't know he owned the resort. <laughs> and uh, his simplicity. His sincerity is what struck me most, and I believe the same thing struck him also about me because he didn't expect uh, comparatively a youngster to be able to talk things that I was discussing because I was I've always been into it. So this is how it's been. हम ज़्यादा नहीं मिलते, मगर जब भी मिलते हैं ऐसा लगता है कि अरसों से बिछड़े हुए कोई रिश्तेदार जो हैं उनसे जब मुलाकात होती है तो कैसे होता है वैसे आई फील वेर ऑल आई नीड दैम सो मैं इसके बारे में इतना सचमुच समझता नहीं हूँ जो खुद एक आचार्य जी की जो शख्सियत है वो इतनी अच्छी है क्योंकि मेरे घर आए थे कुछ दिन पहले और मैंने जो उसके बाद पॉजिटिविटी और कुछ चीज़ों में प्रोग्रेस देखी है वो आप लोगों के सामने बहुत जल्द दिखाई देगी इसलिए मैं उसको बोलूँगा नहीं बता टाइम का वेट कर रहा हूँ सर एंड थैंक यू फॉर कमिंग टू माय होम और आपकी ब्लैसिंग की वजह से मैं कहीं तो पहुँच गया हूँ थैंक यू बहुत बहुत मुझे ज़्यादा तो नहीं पता है किन्नी के बारे में बट मैं इनके बारे में ज़रूर कुछ कहना चाहूँगी मैं कभी मेरी नहीं हूँ बट मैंने जितना भी सुना वो मुझे बहुत अच्छा लगा एंड आई विश कि मैं आपसे आगे भी फ्यूचर में मिल पाऊँ एंड थैंक यू सो मच आप सच में बहुत तारीफ करते हैं एंड फॉर यू ऑल्सो जितना भी सुना मुझे बहुत अच्छा लगा एंड आप बहुत अच्छा करते हैं बहुत अच्छा थैंक यू सो मच